Okay, so this is episode three of uh, food safety, sustainability, peace of mind. And what I'm showing you here is a uh, plum tree that I have out in my garden. Um, it, it produces a little uh, plum, and I'll get my hand up here so you can see it. <clears throat> That's a ripe plum ready to pick. And the tree has uh, a pretty good crop this year, not as big as I've seen it in other years. Uh, you know, you can get a bumper crop off this tree when it's had a good flowering year and it'll really put out a lot of uh, plums for us in the fall. And I actually got this uh, given to me as a little uh, whip along with uh, some of these other trees and it was supposed to be a pear tree that it uh, suckered out in somebody else's garden and they wanted it out and I said, uh, they said, you can have it for digging it, which is a pretty good price. And so I brought it home. I think it's been in the ground for, oh my goodness, probably 10 years. And so it's gotten to be a pretty good sized tree. It's probably uh, close to 20 feet tall. And you can see it's got multiple trunks down here. It's a good little tree. It's in a row of other trees that are uh, all came at the same time in the same bucket. And uh, every year it flowers out real nice. It's alongside my driveway side of my garden. And so I get a multiple benefit from these trees. They're a uh, kind of, they turn into a hedgerow. If you look at them, there's about seven of them growing along the fence there. And they're all about the same size, uh, nice and uniform. Um, again, this is fall, so you're looking at the, uh, you know, the tail end of the growing season. The leaves are starting to change and fall, and uh, the fruit is ready to be picked. And uh, we've had a couple of frosts. And so what I have here is a uh, hedgerow, which gives me some shade, and it gives me uh, a windbreak. Um, they're very ornamental in the spring. They're uh, some of the earlier trees to flower out, so I get a nice show of uh, uh, the crab apples have purple flowers and the uh, the uh, plums have white flowers, so it turns into a real pretty show for about a week and a half, two weeks. And then, of course, I get fruit, and uh, the fruit can be eaten by us and by livestock. The chickens and the goats love them, and um, the birds like them, the wild birds. And uh, the deer, I think, come through when I'm not looking and get a hold of a few. So I got a multiple benefit from, from these trees, and they also uh, typically wind up with some bird nests in them uh, from wild birds. It's pretty thick, and so they it like the cover in there. So, you know, I get uh, a variety of different uh, benefits from these trees. So again, this permaculture where I've got a crop of fruit that comes off every year that I really have very little um, labor and maintenance involved in these trees. The trees next to them are crab apples, and crab apples are really nice. Uh, they're an ornamental, and they produce these fruits, which you can see these nice little crab apples. They're edible, um, not uh, something you just want to pull off a tree and start chewing because they don't taste as good as a, a regular apple. But people make jelly and uh, jam and wine, and and uh, the wild birds really like them. The livestock like them, and uh, they uh, they help really early in the spring when birds are looking for something to eat when they first come back. Uh, that's a good food for them to eat when they first get up here. Um, I see a lot of robins in the trees in the spring, and and uh, so there is a multiple benefit. They're part of my hedgerow, and and uh, real pretty to you know see throughout the year as they go through their different. Uh, seasons and change colors and and so forth so that's a little more permaculture it's a food crop that uh, you know we can count on every year that we don't have to worry about too much and that's part of the premise of the uh, process is to get multiple benefit and uh, a cross or uh, a symbiotic relationship with the other parts of the uh, the garden so and that's that's the purpose of that and I know the food's safe. It's uh, grown right here. I know what's been, uh, I don't spray them, and I know what kind of fertilizer goes in this garden, so I know 
a lot about where my food's being produced and that's a, that's really uh, important for my own peace of mind so um, we'll go on to the next in the series thanks bye